welcome to my channel. If you're new around here and you don't know who I am, I'm Christy and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this really pretty natural glam makeup look using only Halloween makeup from Poundland. So if you'd like to see how I did that then keep watching. I'm going to leave all the details of the makeup that I currently have on my face right now in the description box below. The reason that I never included this makeup in the video is one, that would take literally forever and two, I just kind of more wanted to focus on the makeup from Poundland. Um, this makeup that I have on right now is only an optional step so you can create all the other makeup that I'm using just for the Poundland makeup and completely skip this step that I have on right now. Some of the things that I have in front of me right now is this spooky makeup makeup set that has like a little palette with red, white and black and then some little face paint cranes in yellow, white, green, red and black. I also have this glitter zip makeup. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to use this today. Um, I do want to use this for something else in a future video um, but I don't know I might need something out of it for something so let's just put that down there just now. I also got this red and green cream pen and I got this premium liquid latex makeup. I also have this little palette here that was from the pound shop and it was in one of the packages like these are but um, I used it the other day and flung the package away. So. And I also have here premium gel blood makeup that I got the other day. Um, I've already opened it up but it came with this and I think a little sponge like this is what came in the palette. Obviously that was a pound as well. So the first thing I'm going to start by doing is taking the little white crane from that set and I'm just going to start sketching out where I want my mouth to be roughly and the reason I'm just doing that with white is just because if I make a mistake I can wipe it off easily. That's actually not very easy to sketch with, it's quite, yeah you need to go pretty hard to get the colour to show up, maybe it's just because it's the white. So I'm just going to go in with this little bat set and a little brush and dip into the white with this and sketch it out that way. Yeah that's much better. The thing that I really love about these special effects kind of gory looks is that they do not have to be perfect in any way. Cuts are usually not completely symmetrical. If somebody was to come and give you a Chelsea smile, I highly doubt that it would be perfectly clean cuts on both sides that match exactly. Next I'm going to take this green cream paint and I'm just going to start making like a couple of little designs on one of my eyes. So I think I'm just going to go for like maybe like a little triangle up here and a little triangle down here. I've just cleaned off that same little brush and by cleaned off I do just mean wipe on my pyjamas. These paints are pretty runny but we are going to make this work. It's like quite hard to get it opaque. Okay, no, I'm so not a fan of that. Like it's really hard to make opaque. So I'm just dabbing this over the top to take the excess away. And I'm gonna go in with the little green cane. I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand first. So really try and get the colour going. Oh, please work. Okay, that took a lot more effort than I would have liked to create a fucking triangle. Um, that's okay. Okay, and then using this little palette here, I'm just going to go in with the blue and I'm simply just going to do a blue vertical line coming down my eye here. Am I? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. And I think I'm actually just going to do little lines at either side of my eye as well. What I'm going to do for this little bat palette is take the white and I'm just going to start doing some white vertical lines on my neck. Um, leaving gaps in between so that I can put red vertical lines in those little bits. Now 
if you really wanted this to look good and last all night, what I would recommend doing is anywhere that you go over with cream paint, if you have like an eyeshadow or any kind of powder in a similar colour to that, I would go right over the top of it. That will help it stay on all night. It will also just help the colours look a little bit better. I'm not going to do that today just obviously because I'm trying to only use like the pound shop stuff, but um, that's what I kind of would do if I was using this for like an actual night out or I just, yeah, if you need it to last a little bit longer and look a little bit better. Like, can you imagine that you were on like a blind date with somebody and you were like, um, so what is it that you do for a living? And they were like, oh, um, just a, I'm a clown. <laughs> How long would you leave it before you got up and walked out? No offence to any clowns watching, please don't kill me. So this next part is going to be a little bit difficult for me to talk during, so, oh, I don't have a nose. Hold on, I'm going to paint on a nose. Okay, now the next step might be difficult for me to talk during. So I'm just going to explain it to you and then show you. Basically, I've poured my liquid latex into one of the little containers that the palettes came in. I'm going to take a cotton bud and I'm going to apply liquid latex just around where I've sketched out where I want the mouth to be. And I have little teeny pieces of cotton wool that I'm then going to stick to it and coat the pieces in latex and smooth it out at the outer edge. edge so, the outer edge? The outer edge so that it blends more into my skin. And then dry that and then potentially add another layer. And I've just ripped the little spongy part off of one of these applicators and basically I'm just going to use this plastic edge to sharpen the inner part up a little bit and make it look like the skin is kind of peeling it from this way. Okay, now I'm looking at it, that actually probably only does need one layer, so I'm going to go away, do the rest of the lips, and I'll be back when it's all done and dry. Okay, now that's on and dry, what I'm going to do is, like, trim the edges here, just to make them a little bit cleaner. Do not do this with massive kitchen scissors. I'm telling you right now, use little scissors, it's very dangerous to use big massive kitchen scissors, do not do it. Oh my god, see these bits here, they are being the biggest pain in the arse ever. They keep blending in each other and it's so annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and like highly recommend that as soon as you put the paint on, you put a powder on it like right away because it's smudging all over the place. Or just wear like a low neck top. This was a very silly idea. I don't know why I thought this top was like the most clown themed thing that I had, but... Anyway, so what I'm going to try and do is even up the colour of this a little bit because it's looking a little bit stark white next to the rest of my face. So I'm going to use a little bit of my foundation and just try and lighten it slightly. This isn't actually a step that I am very good at so I am just going to try my best and kind of pray that it turns out okay. Okay, that is probably the best that I am personally going to get it. You may well be able to get it looking a lot more of a closer match than that. Like I said, I'm just not very good at this step. But anyway, now that's covered, I'm just going to go in and pack a powder on on top of it. Oh, again, that's too orange. I'm going to pack a powder, but not that powder. Okay, and with this little palette here, I'm going to go in with the purple shade and with one of the little texture sponges that I got with the palette. I'm going to dab into that, put any excess on the back of my hand and use that to kind of start adding a little bit of kind of bruising or um, just like a little bit more texture and look like the skin has been a little bit damaged just around the kind of mouth area where the latex is. Okay, 
Right, the red in that palette is a little bit too much, like of a bright pillar box red to me. So what I'm going to do is take equal parts of the red and purple and just mix it on the back of my hand to create like a kind of more realistic colour and I'm going to use that to fill in this entire part of my mouth. I mean that's not really realistic at all is it? That's very pink. I'm going to take more of the red. And just you know, we're going to cover this with blood anyway, so it's not like too important, but it is just nice to get a base down first. Okay, and with the black, I'm going to use that to go like right into the skin folds to give the illusion that they are like a little bit deeper and more like cut into the face than everything else. Right up here. And then any of the like white bits that I can see here, I'm just going to go back in and over with the red to blend them in a little bit. And then back in with that textured sponge and I'm just going to like pat over that entire thing, blending it out onto the actual like skin flap bits. And now for the fun part, I'm getting with the Premium Gel Blood Makeup. Oh my god. Give this a shake before you use it because it's just come out like... Not good. And this is just a little bit thicker than like regular like fake blood that you get, which I love. I think it looks more realistic. My actual favourite is the Ben Nye Scab Blood, but that is considerably more expensive for this. And if you're the type of person that's not doing like special effects makeup all the time, then you might just not want to splurge out on like a lot of money for like special effects makeup. So there you go guys, there is how you can create something still really cool and really creepy this Halloween even if you're on a budget. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, if you have please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and enjoy the rest of your day, bye! Ding, 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 ding.